Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas. Uh, we are doing a podcast. It's been a while. You know what, honestly, I'm proud of myself because I usually don't two times... I do. TNT Dynamite, GHT. Yeah, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the podcast. <laughs> Usually he messes up the first one. No, I mess up one. Yeah, yeah you mess up on either one. It's like a crapshoot. Yeah, you know what? That's why we're not perfect here at the Crazy Town Podcast. Actually, we I think it is perfect. Let you listen to the real deal holy field. All you hookers and hoes know how I feel. Jonas. <laughs> That's I was just dropping some Dr. Dre on them. Do you know any hookers or hoes? Some physician Dre. Would you do you do you feel like you know any hookers or hoes? Hookers or hoes? Dude, I'm just asking. Like, uh, have you ever made friend with like a prostitute with a heart of gold? Let's see here. <laughs> Crazy Town Media's on YouTube, Spotify, <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> He's on Twitch, TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Um, do, like real life horse, <laughs> like a lady of the night. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Um, yeah, I just said that. I don't know. I, I, it's all right. I just want to say it again. Um, yeah, like real prostitute. You never met a prostitute? I mean, I knew some girls back in the day that like were kind of promiscuous, but they didn't make anybody pay. <laughs> I mean, is that what a hoe is? You know what's funny? Like in other countries, the word bitch means the word hoe. Really? Yeah. I, it's very is that very my facts. No, that's that's truth, man. Like the word bitch and I know in German for sure is looked at like a totally like different. a prostitute. Yes. A loose woman. Yes. What's a just, loose man called? Uh hmm. Wow, double standard <laughs> revealed. Uh a hoe? He's a hoe? No. What is it, Jonah? Jiggle? Jiggle No, that's like a <laughs> male prostitute but that's still like escort <laughs> i don't know any male escorts um no, how do you even know, i know i don't, I know, I don't know anyone you know we need to come up with one Jones. you know i think i've 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 heard like i don't know any women who were actually paid like actually like their job was being paid to have sex but i swore i've heard girls that i've either known or came in contact with or been at parties that have told stories about taking money to do something sexual not like they paid me to have sex but they'll be like yeah this dude was like want to see my tits so i pulled my I, I, he gave you know you know or whatever you know what i mean or like oh like he wanted me to do something freaky and i was like he's like i'll give you 50 bucks if you xyz and i was like wow sure. man i just got a flashback to when i had these three girls and it took like 50 never mind um <laughs> I didn't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, yes, Jonas. I think a lot of young ladies go through that, and then you know, through that, and that not making you feel good about yourself. Then you learn to take well, pride right. well, in your I body. Think, like, I mean, but, especially like I imagine that kind of shit happens in college all the time. Yeah, because, because you know you're at a party and you're a broke college girl, and they're like, "We'll yeah. give you twenty bucks to take your shirt off." <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, college you know? and high school for sure. Yeah. College and high school for sure. Yeah. So it's like, but yeah, like you said, but then like, then they're like, wow, I feel really objectified and like I took money to get naked and that's, I don't mm. like that. I don't like how that makes me feel. I, yeah. I'm not going to lie, Jonas. 18 year old TNT Dynamite was a wild boy. 20 year old TNT Dynamite was a wild boy. How many times you whip it out for money? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a John. <laughs> are you calling me a John? No, where they're like, we want to see it, dude. Give us twenty. We'll how many 20. times have I whipped yeah, how it out, you whip out for money? Well. Have I ever been paid for the penis? Let me think. Not to like use it, just to like they want to see well, it. Yeah, yeah. Any, any. Yeah, I'm thinking of all facets. Um, I have never been paid. Me neither. I've man. never paid for a vagina unless you consider like Dating. taking them out to eat and shit. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I've never paid anyone to. I would just. I'd never been paid or paid. But yeah, well, you wow, you were like. uh what? What, what? Like wild? Like you were paying girls to take off their clothes? What are you talking? You said about? TNT was a wild boy. In his yeah, 18th. it was a wild boy, Jonas. Oh, I, like having sexual intercourse? Yes, Jonas. I got around. I was a little hoe. A little That's, hoe. Yeah. Is that a problem? Nope. I don't I was slut shame anybody, dude. Yeah, I was getting out there. Can't help you were a slut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I will not have you slut. I was a free spirit. <laughs> I was a free spirit. 
weird. I was giving away my love, bro. That's what I was no, doing. No, I was sharing my love with the oh, world. Oh, I got you. Sharing my love. Mm -hmm. That's Inserting what you know. your love inside people. <laughs> I, was, I was just putting my love inside them. I was just giving everybody a hypodermic love injection. <laughs> Gross. What? <laughs> so, um, just under the skin. I. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, so I heard of something oh, that God. is new, and I thought like my first thought was like this sounds cool. Then my second thought was like this is stupid, and then I don't know where I fell after that. Okay, <laughs> the car company Volvo, the range of emotions. I know, right? Has come up with a new program. It is called Care by Volvo. Okay, it is a monthly car service. Mm -hmm. It's all inclusive. It includes the car payment, the insurance, maintenance, tile, tire care, wheel care, wear and tear care. I like this. And you can get your car delivered within two weeks. It's negotiation free. It's a set rate. You want this car? It's in like a couple of. I think they're around like seven hundred dollars a month. And Volvo's are pretty expensive cars, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. like for seven hundred bucks a month, you get this car plus your insurance is covered, your maintenance, all that's covered. I loved it at first because it's a great deal. Then I didn't love it. Mm, here comes the not love part. Why do you think I didn't love it? Uh, because you could probably shop around and find better prices. Because well, that seems like besides that, that seems like a Jonas thing. But the first couple years, you don't need any fucking maintenance on your car. Uh, so you're paying extra money for for car maintenance. You don't need a brand new car. You, no, you ain't getting your car fixed, dude. <laughs> look at freaking Jonas Weinstein finding out how much the ice cubes are worth. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's 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 borderline. Right? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but no, dude. Like I'm like, if yeah, you offer that when the car's like three years old, I'm in, dude. <laughs> Find out how much nice. No, I got you. You're right. No, you're right. You found out, dude. I agree. I I like the idea, but yes, that's true. Yeah, like I mean, great. Yeah, throw because if, if you do, if you have a Volvo, your insurance is going to be expensive anyway. Yeah. So if you think about it, if you like a Volvo car, you're probably going to pay at least four hundred dollars a month, if not more, for a car yeah. payment, and then your insurance is like two hundred bucks a month. You're really not paying a lot for the maintenance. I mean, it's a and it's a Volvo, so those things are fucking made to last, dude. Right. So, but I, I get it. Yeah, like, but I was like, man, can I get the Kia edition? It's like four hundred bucks a month. Like, I'm in, dude. Right. I'm, I'm in wondering if the main does the maintenance include like oil changes and like I don't know. I didn't read stuff deep enough into it. See, that would be awesome. Because I feel like yeah, I would get a new air, air filter every time I went and got an oil change. If yeah, it was they'd be like, oh, twenty five thousand checkup, boom, ten five thousand checkup. Give me that oil change, air filter, tire rotation, three. Yep. Flush my fluids. Yeah, dude. But imagine nobody it ever would be flushes for, my fluids. But if they did that, it would. It. But see, here's the thing. I think car service places are like um are like uh drug companies. They don't want you to get cured, man. They want you to. They want you to oh, manage yeah. your symptoms. Oh yeah, dude. You gotta, they want you to forget because if your car fucks up, they make money to fix it. Yeah, we need you to come back. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> Once they're out the door, man. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought that was cool. Like I was like that, but I feel like. It's gonna. That's like the wave of the future. I bet. Is the the total package? Yeah, it just makes it easier, dude. Because it does. Convenience is a big thing. Uh, just with millennials and in, in general, man. Yeah. We we we. A lot of the money that we expend is on just the convenience. It's of like things. you pay more for convenience. Yes. And then everybody's like, "Why don't we have any money?" It's because you you take the easy way out all the time. Yeah. It's like you know what I could I could drive my ass to the to the restaurant and get the food for twenty bucks, or I could have it delivered and pay thirty five. Eh, thirty five bucks it is <laughs> for a cheeseburger. Yeah, and I don't know <laughs> if I was talking to you about this, but is it not fucking nuts? Is that there used to always be that guy at the party who would just you'd be like, hey yo, uh, go get some Taco Bell, go get some Burger King. We'll give you ten bucks. To just drive up there and come back. And then depending on how many people were ordering, he would get more. Or they would just buy his food or something. You know that? Yeah, oh, yeah. There's always that guy. Or, yeah. Or there's always somebody who's like, hey, man, I need beer. You go to the store, get me beer. I'll, I'll buy you a 12-pack, too. There or was, I'll give you 20 bucks. There's or, always that guy. And that guy made a killing. The guy who was, didn't get too drunk too early and could always go make the run, he always made a killing. Honestly, I wish it had been me thinking back. <laughs> like it, That would have been a good hustle. 
just go to parties and just be I like, I would hey. do that stuff sometimes because I used to not drink a lot or not, and like I wouldn't do anything to like. You were that guy. Rated. Yeah, I had no problem doing it. I'm like, oh, you're going to get me free food to go get you food? You were the I guy. I was broke, dude. <laughs> Yeah, like especially like if you're broke, then you're like a twenty year old kid and you're broke as shit. Exactly. You're like, but like, now now that guy exists in capitalism. Yeah, pretty much. Now that's a capitalistic endeavor. The guy who was doing that came up with like, you know, I mean, we should just make a bunch of guys who do this. Right, right. And then they're always sober. There's always a sober guy to bring you yep, what you need. Like, yep, yep. yeah, dude. I don't like. I could. I think it's a good idea. I, because here's the thing, because uh, it protects their investment too. Because you're required to carry insurance on a brand new car. Yes, yes, yes. But they they have to find out you lapsed. But if you're paying them and they're paying the insurance, yes. they, they're protecting their. It's it's better for the for the for the dealer all around. It really is. Because here's what they're gonna do too. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do like what Sprint does and like what T-Mobile. They're gonna be like. Every two years, you get a brand new car. You just pay us 700 bucks a month. You come in. You do all your maintenance. If you come in on all the maintenance checks, next time you renew, you get $50 a month off. Because then they know that mm -hmm. car's service record is impeccable. And yeah. they could turn around and sell to some other motherfucker. Like, it'll just be trade a car. It'll just be it's, it's, in, infinite loop car payments. Yeah, it, it's a really good idea. But it, like, doesn't, it kind of feeds against the whole idea is that they want your car to deteriorate kind of well but see here's an, it'll just be a part of business because like the, just like they sell new cars they sell used cars because they'll take the cars that are on this program that everybody comes in and gets all the and then they'll sell them used for fucking br almost brand new price because that's it's, true i wonder if they're thinking like it's more it's they probably make more money getting you to bring the car in on like every service occasion that you have to bring it in because you're like, Hey, this is a free service. I'll bring it in. Those guys are still getting paid because you're paying in advance. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Huh. And, and those, those services, I mean, dude, how much do you really think it costs them to rotate your tires? No, uh -oh. you mean, know what I mean? How much does it cost them to do an oil change or like to check your flute? Like it costs them nothing. So the kid that's doing it probably an hour's worth of work. <laughs> so right. maybe like, I don't know, 12, $15 right, right. there. Yeah, exactly. And, and they're making, and they're doing it. All assured, they know they're you know, and I, I think I think it's I think it it will I think it'll catch on and be, yeah, a good thing. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. I saw that uh, vinyl sales outsold CDs for the first time since the eighties. I thought that happened a while ago. And, and you know, I after I was writing said this before. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know, but I feel like I have heard that. Um, I don't know. I don't, uh, CDs are done, man. It didn't well, sell out. It didn't sell out streams, though. Yeah, but <laughs> here's the thing. thing. I I saw I saw a comment. It really made. It's like somebody was like, "CDs are dead. There will never be a vintage run on CDs because tapes and vinyls have that covered, and no one will need CDs in the future because everything's streamed now. Exactly. It's like CDs literally like killed the market. Came out just like boom. Boom, like CDs and tapes basically shit the bed. And then all of a sudden, CDs are going to be the lost, like, they're going to be the coaster of the... They're going to be the 8-track. Yeah, essentially. They're 8-tracks, because, like, even 8-tracks aren't even collectible. Like, nobody... I mean, there's probably somebody who right, collects 8-tracks, right. but there's still people out there who collect CDs, too, and I'm still looking at them like, what are you doing? Right. I, have a, I have a CD player in my car I haven't used in months and Yeah, months I've had my car for... I bought my car brand new, and well, I have a 2013, so I think I got it in 2012. 20, no, I think I got it in 2013. It was, um, So I've had it, what, seven years now. I think I've only used that CD player three times mm -hmm. <laughs> in seven years mm -hmm. <laughs> and i don't even have uh i don't even have a fancy like integrated app control unit i, I still can bluetooth you know but i don't have like the touch screen because it, it was yeah, like a yeah. year or two before the touch screens really came into cars yeah, 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 yeah. but i i just bluetooth to my phone and i'm like yep every cd i want right here, right here. or individually put 12 songs at a time in <laughs> so you know, since we're on the topic Josh, do you remember was there a there was like a tape deck with a fake CD you could put in a CD player and then you could listen to music from your Do you remember these things? I'm trying to like Wait, wait, say my, okay. So it had like a fake CD and you would put it in a CD player and then it would it would connect to like an out out No, they had a they had the tapes that would go in and had an aux the cord tape that, that would, would plug Okay, and how does this work? Yeah, because the ta it would play through the tape, but there was there was an aux cord that came out of it, and you plugged it in the aux on your phone. 
okay. or your CD player. That's or yeah, okay. Whatever that's, the hell it was back that's then. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. You put your disc man in the car and you put a plug <laughs> it in the <laughs> And he did the ox, dude. Oh my god! Yes. I remember my first disc man. Oh <laughs> it had, didn't have god. the shock resistance, and I couldn't oh, walk five nope. feet. It was just like. Ah, ah, I used to ah, hate that. I was like, "This is the worst shit ever. Why is this?" You'd have to hold it in your hand like it's a gyroscope, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just bracing. Like, this expecting. is the worst thing ever. It's portable, and it doesn't. It, it's yeah, I can listen Tape, to it yeah. on a table. That's it. Yeah, tapes were better than that. As soon as somebody you remember somebody come and bang the table while you're listening to your CD. Yeah, dude. Yo, I've spent so much money on discmans. I bought like five or six Westinghouse Dixman Dixman Dixman. With the with the twenty seconds of shock resistance, <laughs> I know, right? And, and I remember, like, even the ones that had shock resistance were still trash. They were still trash. Like, at least there were some that you could put like in your book bag while you walked, and they wouldn't skip a lot, but they would yeah. still skip. Yeah, it was like it would build up, so like it wouldn't skip, and then like maybe a minute into your walk, it'd be like, dip, 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 yeah, and it the catch worst, up. dude. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe we ever lived like that, dude. We had dial up internet. <laughs> 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 and then you get like the people who complain about tapes and how you like tapes were fragile. Oh yeah, dude. Like if that little thing got crinkled up, guess what? You got a permanent skip. Oh yeah, dude. Well, a and then like you left skip. them out in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would melt and shit, dude. Or the kid it, would come and rip all the tape out of it. Get yeah, that singles done. I remember like cutting pieces out and putting scotch tape on it so it would like it would still play. Dude. Like you're you'd be like, oh my god, my favorite tape is caught you'd be all super cautious and you cut it and just cut the chunk off and like forever that song just missed 30 seconds of the song dude it was yeah. over i you know i hate to be a boomer but i kind of do miss the days of like i okay fine fuck it this is how old i am jonas i remember taking a blank tape and recording songs off of the radio yeah and cds i take cds and make off a mix the radio tape. no i would take cds and record them on tape because I had a tape player, but wow. I didn't. Have, because I didn't have. No, that's wild. Yeah, because you would like you would like play it through the CD player and record it to tape and make a mixtape, and then you would listen yeah. to it in the car because yeah. CD players. Yet. Okay, all right, I yeah. feel you. Yeah, I remember taping. Nice and banging that dude. I mean, yeah. wearing high heel. I'm kidding. That's yeah, a, that was a joke. Wind beneath my wings really did happen. High heels did not. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> both, both are cool. So, all right, dude. Whatever. So, like. A lot of people right now have yeah. waited. <laughs> that's subject to a. And a pain, I feel like everyone's in a very high stress state and may not even realize how high of a stress state they're in. That is true. And I think that's causing a lot of anxiety and a lot of anger and a lot of whatever. Uh -huh. But I feel that some people have way too much time and they're starting to like delve down internet rabbit holes. And, like, they're becoming, like, conspiracy theorists. Like, they just have too much time to research stuff about whatever. Whether it's, like, pandemic-related or it's, like, other shit-related, government-related. We talking about Q QAnons? Uh, whoever. But I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> giving these people this much time for this... Have you, like... Like, <laughs> it's just funny, like, talking to someone and having them say, like... I know I probably sound crazy when I say this, but like, you know, that you're like, and it's like, and they, I just, I, wow. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's getting there. Though I kind of feel like it's been that, that, that mindset has always been there. It's just getting a little bit more. But people have never had this much time to yeah. actually, like, some people, yes, they get sucked in, they go. Yeah. But most people work had social lives, did whatever, yeah. and they didn't have time to sit and go down the internet rabbit hole all night. Yeah, and, and honestly, I think that the, like the current situation has fueled like just multitude of polarizing events in the country, and whenever you have those type of polarizing events, so it's, it's a domino effect, but yes, people are definitely, get, what did you hear about? Is it Wicca? No, I just mean just in general. Like, oh, know, like, you well, no, no, because like just like, I mean, even like if you go things that like, like yeah, like like the the QAnon thing, the 
Mm. Ma- like mask versus anti-mask like masks ma- you don't get enough carbon dioxide you you know or you get too much o- you know you don't get enough oxygen and then you're and people are saying you do and you don't and uh. the virus is caused by 5g the virus isn't the, 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 the <laughs> we they, watched that video just, that guy was convincing oh, as fuck oh no shit and like just, we watched and like, yeah, it QAnon and like people saying like the black lives matter is really like another thing that's to do Ant- this and, like, it's just, yeah just <laughs> like <clears throat> it's just there's so many different things going on right now and people are just grasping at either side and s- fucking putting their foot in the sand and that's what's right and like it's just like dude oh so it is just just the polarizing we're living a very polarizing time right now and everybody has so much time and there's so much fake shit out there so you don't know what's real and what isn't so that's the thing and even the fake shit seems convincing like yeah we watched the 5g video that dude was really convincing he was very convincing um you were talking about the whole idea of the fact that social media becomes like an echo chamber. Yes. Due to the fact of targeted uh, like comments, images, Adver- news. It, it, yeah, yeah, because it's not all advertising, but in a way it's advertising. You were saying like if you were to take your phone and like the same. Well, what, no, what, it was uh, I said if me say? and you ha- had basically the same friends on Facebook. Yes. And. We scrolled through my feed and your feed. We would get two completely different feeds, even though yeah. we follow almost the exact same stuff. Yes, some of the stuff would still like if it gets a bunch of likes, and it's like, oh, we had the baby. We're right. both gonna get that. Right, shit, but even but... just curated feed of our friends, and then yeah. on top of that, the, the adver- news, the like things that you Google, like you know, if you're if you're looking at stuff all about like five G and anti mask, and I'm looking at virus and mass like you're gonna get more conspiracy type stuff i'm gonna get more stuff like that you know it's like and it's it's just it's based all on the algorithms uh yeah and it's just like it just intensifies basically and validates whatever the person is believing and that that's weird i just saw something uh just today about how uh, Facebook is being brought to trial again or in the news again because they've been failing at just like uh, not making like a political medium on their on their, it's yeah the, I see, everything here's, here's the thing too I, much information that, that I don't get is um you know it's like I get about targeting but but and you know you know here's the thing and I guess it's like money at all costs because I'm like they say that they can't control what's whatever but whatever but like. They could still push both sides of an agenda into your newsfeed, regardless. Yeah. But they're they want you to stare at your screen as long as possible. So they're gonna feed you stuff that you're gonna watch. So if you're a, if you're anti mask mm. and they're putting shit about why masks are good, you're gonna skip right over that bullshit. So why don't they? Why, so they're just gonna keep feeding you anti mask shit, so you keep reading and watching that yeah. because they want you to watch. They don't want you to skip. <laughs> so it's all based on money and then yeah. it, right it just validates you and it makes you feel like your point is even stronger and right because all you see is your point of view and, and then you made a good point like <clears throat> where you said um you know i'll i'll watch stuff i don't agree with just to confuse the algorithm <laughs> i do i do i watch i watch a little tucker carlson and uh i watch some i don't watch info wars or anything but i watch a bunch of i watch a bunch of different stuff just to see how the other side is being influenced um, I, and I think it's absolutely crazy as that on paper, it sounds like a great idea. Yes, of course. I would rather I see ads that appeal to me than for summer's Eve and fucking dove body soap. And yeah, I don't want to see that. Right. Because it's, it's not going to work on me. So why are you wasting your fucking right, time? Exactly. I'm just going to get frustrated and be like, skip. But it's become to the point now where it's like, it's a predatory endeavor. It's like, right. I swear to God that I will say a word in this house, and then I will end up seeing something advertised about it oh, yeah. on my phone. Oh, and I'm sure that's true. The shit happened to me the other day. I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, a word I have never heard that is like a little tiny bone totem. Show The DM says it. The very same day, I see it pop up in my YouTube feed. I'm like, now there is a chance that it's just a coincidence, but no. 
Yeah, dude. No, no, oh, yeah, no, well, no, just, no, 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 like, no. Just no, like no, that no. night. Or, I mean, I think everybody's had this. Like, you search one thing in Google, then all the ads and all your programs Every, pop up that. Like, dude. that day we were looking at hazmat oh, suits. Yeah. You were like, <laughs> all your hazmat. I looked at a pair of horned rim glasses one time, and they showed up in my feet for a year and a half, Jonas. <laughs> I, I They're like, are you going to buy these glasses or not? <laughs> yeah, but I think, like, you're right. Because, like, yeah, if I'm going to see ads, I would much rather see stuff that I'm interested in buying. But when it comes down to even, like, uh, bottlenecking your news. Yes. It's one thing to bottleneck products. Yeah. Because that you're targeted for a product. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely different to target your news and your yes, because, friends and your... Because you, you, you can't come up with a good idea on your own. Like, the country can't be built off of just one mindset. It's many different mindsets. <laughs> right. In culmination and working in concert with each other. It's not just one state of mind. Right. Which is, which is why I, I, I always try to play devil's advocate with myself and in, in the midst of an argument that I'd be like, I'm sure I'm right. I'll still try to think from the other person's point yeah, of view. Yeah, well, and that's how you come up with good solutions, man. Exactly. So... I don't know, man, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If, you, if you've done all that stuff for us, uh, make sure you do this guy's Twitch stuff. Do my Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite at Twitch. Uh, TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Heck yeah. Crazy Town Media on YouTube. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Jabba Jonas. Jabba 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 Jabba